Hey guys, so today I have a wintry sort of look for you. As you can probably tell by now, I do like to do seasonal inspired looks or styled looks. Um, don't know why, I just like the idea of having each season be certain types of looks. It's very satisfying for me and it keeps my head in keeps my creative juices flowing. So this is going to be a wintry sort of look. Um, it's like icy purples, blues, a little bit of glitter, well really really fine glitter just on the lid and yeah. So this is the look here. If you want to see how to get this then keep watching this video and all the lists of products and everything that's on my face if it's not in the video it's down in the description box so if you want to have a look down there you can see what i used um yeah so keep on watching all right so start off this look as per usual i'm going to prime my eyelids from my lid to my brow and along my lower lash line to give the eyeshadow something to grip onto And then I'm going to take the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil in Eccentric Diva, which is a like a violet purple sort of shade. And I'm using this to map out the shape of the halo eye that I want to do. So I'm applying it to the outer corner of the lid and also along the inner corner of the lid, leaving a space in the center of the lid. Also going into my crease a little bit with that color and then I'm, before it sets I'm using my finger to soften out that color and make sure it's not patchy. I'm going to repeat that same process just along the lower lash line so along the outer third of the lower lash line and also on the inner third of the lower lash line again keeping that little space in the center. Next I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and it's just a creamy white shade and I'm applying that to the center of the lid um, for the brighter color that I want to use and that will give me a more dramatic halo if that makes any sense and a little bit along that center portion of the lower lash line as well. And again, using my finger just to soften out that product. Next, I'm taking Inglot's eyeshadow in 309. This is a matte, taupey pink sort of shade. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. And I'm just using that as my transition shade into my crease. Then, to start with the purple shades, I'm going in with Inglot's eyeshadow in 439. Sorry on a big, big fluffy brush and I'm blending that into the crease as well. I'm also taking that color on a small brush and applying it over where the purple is on the lower lash line, not where the white is, so leaving the white alone. Then I'm taking Inglot's Matte Eyeshadow in 375 and this is a deep, actually no it's not really that deep, it's like a mid-tone purple and I'm taking that on the outer corner of my lid and bringing that into the socket a little bit more. Taking that same shade on the same brush and applying it on the inner corner of the eye. This will make the sides look more shadowed and then the center will stand out a little bit more for the halo effect. I'm also taking that same shade on the same small brush that I used before and applying that over the purple on the lower lash line. So 
deepen the look a little bit more and taking Inglot's eyeshadow in 439, which is like a really, really deep royal blue purpley sort of shade. And I'm applying that on a little smudger brush into the deepest portion of my eye. So right where the outer corner meets the socket. And same thing on the deepest part of the inner corner as well. And slightly bringing that into the crease. I'm using that lilac shade, the first purple that we used on the big fluffy brush and using that to blend out the darker shades. I'm taking that same royal blue colour on a smaller little flat brush and applying that where the roots of my lashes are over the purple. For the halo part, I'm going to use Inglot's eyeshadow in 05. And I'm using this on a flat brush. This is like an icy blue teal sort of shade. And I'm applying that over the white base in the center of the lid. And I'm constantly checking that I'm in focus. My camera was freaking out today for some reason. And I'm going back in with a little bit of that mid-tone purple, so the 375 shade. And just using that to soften where the blue and the purple meet. Taking a little bit of that, that blue shade and applying that to the center of the lower lash line as well. And blending where it meets the purple on either side. Next I'm taking Inglot's Body Sparkles in 52 and I'm applying that over the blue. I didn't use a base for this because they kind of stick pretty well on their own. And you can see how nice and sparkly. This is a really fine blue duochrome sparkle. I also applied a little bit on the lower lash line. Right now I'm taking some concealer and just tidying up underneath the eye, making sure there's no blue or purple under my eye and also concealing my very dark under eye circles. To highlight my brow bone I'm using the matte white shade from Inglot which is 373. And I'm using that just along my brow bone and I'm also using that to soften any harsh edges. And for an extra pop of highlight, I'm taking Inglot's Pure Pigment in 59 and applying that to the inner corner. This is like a white with a blue duochrome as well, so it just adds to the whole icy effect. Next I'm going to line my upper lash line with the MAC brush stroke liner which is like my new favourite liquid liner because it's just so quick and easy and I'm not doing too... no I'm not really doing that dramatic of a line, um, just enough and I'm winging it out on the outer edge. Instead of a black liner, I'm going in with Urban Decay's Ultraviolet Highliner, which is like a bright, bright royal blue sort of shade, and applying that into my waterline, just for something different. To finish off the eyes, I'm taking Max Extended Play Mascara, and doing a nice coat of that on my top and bottom lashes and you can stop the look here if you like and um, if you just want to wear this as it is I did apply a pair of false lashes I used the Fleur de Forest Eyelore ones in Fleur and Fabulous and next I'm moving on to the face I'm using the NYX blush in Taupe to contour my cheekbones um, this is the one that was discontinued. I have not used the new one that came out in its place um, because I have two of these. I stocked up when it was, I heard it was being discontinued. 
for my cheeks I'm going to use the uh, Sleek Blush by 3 Sweet Cheeks palette and I'm using the shade Dolly Mix which is that center li lilac shade. Um, it doesn't really come up too lilac on the face, so it's like a cool pink on the face. And then to highlight I'm going to use MAC's Extra Dimension Highlighter in Soft Frost which is like a white duochrome and it has a duochrome of purple for this so I think it goes really really nice with the eyes. I'm going over my lips with whatever's left on my foundation brush just to take down the red because my lips are quite dark naturally. And then I'm going in with Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in 67 and I'm using that to fill in my lips. This is like a really really nice soft pink. Next I'm going in with MAC's Lip Pencil in Soar and this is like a deeper rose shade and I'm just using that to line my lips and slightly feather it in. I don't really want to be able to see this lip line, it's just a really light application. And then I'm taking MAC's lipstick in Cream Cup which is again a nice soft pink lipstick and applying that to my lips. off the lips I'm using Max Dazzle Glass in Sun Tabulous which is like a really sparkly purpley pink sort of shade um, and it wouldn't be me without nice glossy lips so I always have to have a bit of gloss on just smush them together and that's the completed look <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the finished look. Here's a little close-up. You've probably already seen the close-ups, but hey-ho. Here's some more for you. So yeah, nice and icy, plummy sort of colours. Frozen plum, I think that's what I'm going to call it, yeah. Icy plum, something like that, I don't know. Whatever the title is, that's what it was called. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked this look. Um, all my social media will be linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit subscribe here. I've learned it's on this side when I'm looking at you guys. Um, and give it a thumbs up and give me a comment as well if you did like it and any suggestions for what else, what other videos you want me to do as well. Um, yeah, so hope you liked my first wintry look of this year. And there will be more wintry looks. A lot more. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!